Sir, you testified yesterday that when you left the courthouse after obtaining the domestic violence restraining order against Mr. Depp, you walked out to, quote, a sea of uh, paparazzi and cameras, right? That's correct. You testified that you were surprised to see the sea of cameras. That's correct. Because it was quiet when you went into the courthouse that morning. And the divorce had remained under the radar up to that point. You testified that no one knew about your divorce, so you thought it was going to stay that way, right? No, I always figured it would come out. I just trying to buy time. You knew the media had been alerted that you were filing for divorce, right, Ms. Heard? No, I just knew that it was impossible to do that privately, so you could just hope it was a matter of time. You knew they were going to be there, didn't you? No, I did not. I mean, I assume, I assume since it's a public building that there is that likelihood, or not likelihood, but possibility. But um, I was, you know, I was, I was shocked. Your publicist, Jody Gottlieb, was there at the courthouse with you, wasn't she? Yes, she was. So you anticipated that you might need your publicist? I thought the filing might make, um, well, I was told the filing was public, that it would be impossible, there's no way for you to do a, a, fi a private filing, and then the second that I filed for the TRO, it would be public news. I didn't expect all these photographers and cameras to show up at the courthouse in real time, but they did. If you could please uh, pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit uh, 1280, which is a clip from your divorce deposition, and you have at uh, page, if I can alert you, you have the transcript there, page 74, lines 22. You said 874? 74. 74. Line 22 through 75, line 13. I'm sorry, just 72 lines. 74, line 22 through 75, line 13. Okay. Your Honor, may we approach? Okay. Please play and display to the jury plaintiff's exhibit 1280. Ms. Hurd, did you send a text message to Jerry Judge on May 24, 2016, telling Jerry Judge, quote, I'm desperately trying to reach Johnny. It's extremely important. Please tell him. I remember sending the text message that is in front of me right now to Jerry. Uh, and I would like, I remember sending this because I wanted to tell Johnny or have him told by Jerry or someone who knew him or was close to him. Basically, I didn't want him to find out online that I had or was about to file or I had already filed for divorce. I wanted him to know verbally. So I was trying to reach him through a third party to tell him. When I say reach, I'm specifically saying I would like him to know information coming from me or coming from Jerry, from me, so that he finds out about the divorce filing or my intention to do so from some other source other than TMC, which was alerted. You slipped up there, didn't you, Ms. Heard? You let it slip out that TMZ had been alerted to your filing of the domestic violence restraining order, didn't you? I disagree. That's not what I'm talking about. TMZ is the same outlet that you released the video of Mr. Depp attacking the kitchen cabinets the day before this deposition was taken, wasn't it? I didn't do that. I don't TMZ know how owns to do that. The copyright to that video now, doesn't it? I have no idea what TMZ Did it owns. pay you for that? I never got paid for it because I had nothing to do with that. So TMZ was just lucky in getting the inside scoop to your divorce from Mr. Depp, huh? I have no idea. It is not, that's not my area of exper expertise. I wouldn't even know how to do that. And also, what does that get me? If I wanted to leak things about Johnny, I could have done that in a much more successful way, in a bigger way, for years. Not when years. you were extorting him for $7 million? I got a fraction of what I was entitled to in the state of California, by the way. Right. What extortion? 
Tulsa Van Reeves, your ex-wife, right? That's right. She's my ex-partner. She's the one that told, that you told the story Mr. Depp was jealous of, right? Yeah, well, that was a 2013 fight in, around March, yes. You testified that he tried to burn one of her paintings, right? That's correct. You testified he tried to burn um, one of your favorite paintings that she did, right? I don't know if it was one of my favorites. You committed domestic violence against Miss Van Reed during your relationship, didn't you? No, I did not. You assaulted her at a Seattle airport in 2009, didn't you? No, I did not. And people saw that? That's not true. And it was covered in the press. Isn't that true? It was, a, it was planted in the press by Johnny's team two days after I got the TRO. Uh, not coincidentally. Can you please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1279? Your Honor, may we approach? <coughs> Please have that article displayed for the witness. This is an article from two years ago, correct, Ms. Hurd? I don't know when this May was. of 2020? That's not when it came out, no. This story started getting planted in, after I got a TRO, after I got a restraining order against Johnny. The headline says Amber Heard allegedly struck. Objection, Your Honor. I, I, 